Hi friends, it's your girl Raleigh. BTS got their Billboard Hot 100 number one. Like we are out here celebrating y'all, celebrating. I made this shirt, you know, just to commemorate it all. And you know, here in my fantastic glory because BTS had a 70s themed come back and we all know the 70s is known for the big afros in the black community so you know we had to do it we had to do it my own hair could never today i'm here to just kind of walk through how i made this t-shirt design yeah. i'm sorry if this is not the best or your favorite way or style of diy format I apologize this is just the best that I'm gonna do because a lot of times I try really hard on this channel and I'm just kind of being more casual on this channel first I started off with just a white t-shirt from Joanne's fabrics called bias tape and I just used a bias tape to create a trim around the arms of the t-shirt which I did horrible job of I will not show you this up close because I cannot sew a straight line for the life of me but these pink trims were not on the original shirt these are pink trims that I put in as an accent color because I thought it would complement the design of the t-shirt it took me a lot to sew this like I am not a sewing person I, I was so confused I couldn't find a tutorial that was really exactly what I needed. Of course, after I had already sewn it and fucked up, a YouTuber recommended a video of how to like sew collars. I'm like, this is exactly what I was looking for yesterday, but I couldn't find it yesterday, but now I can find it. Okay. Okay, YouTube. But from far away, you literally cannot tell that it's like awful. <laughs> so the reason why I'm doing the video in this type of format is because my dumbass, when I'm like in the flow of creating, I just forget to film shit like it just doesn't even come to my mind like the thought literally does not cross my mind my eye bags look so horrible it's very unflattering what was i even saying i forgot to pretty much show most of the process of me designing the ice cream truck but it is the same ice cream truck that is in the dynamite music video and all i did was literally copy like i just pasted the image of Taehyung in front of that truck and I just copied it in Illustrator using the pen tool and just recreated the same exact truck illustrated instead of like a photograph. I also took it into Photoshop for some extra shading on the ice cream cone but literally none of the detail printed out once I like actually printed it onto a transfer sheet so was it really worth all that time? It was really fun designing the logo deal right here and this is actually based off of someone's TikTok where their grandpa said that uh, Namjoon was out of sight dynamite. <laughs> that is just too freaking cute. Like, I love it. So I decided to go with that catchphrase, out of sight dynamite. And it says ice cream truck on the side. So, cause it's their ice cream truck. I created their logo. I did not just copy and paste that. I completely recreated it in Illustrator. There's a font that's really similar to it, but certain things like the M was completely different. I had to alter that. Their logo font was a little bit different than the closest font that I could find to it. So I had to alter a couple things in Illustrator. And then, you know, the use it's really easy it's really simple you just print the design reversed onto a transfer sheet and then you iron it on and bada bing bada boom you have a t-shirt cute huh cute cute hey yes i will have to say the transfer sheet made my design look a lot lighter like on the computer it looks quite a bit darker and printed it looks so much lighter i'm just like touching my boobs this back area kind of gets lost in translation like where does the shirt begin and the truck end who knows also the dynamite logo on the truck ended up a lot lighter than i anticipated but overall it's actually pretty cute actually let me tie this up it's a lot cuter when it's even more cropped do me Shimmy, shimmy. Yeah, I'm pretty happy about how it turned out. I'm sorry this video isn't more than it, what it is. It's literally just me talking through it. But you know what? Bitches be coming out with basic ass YouTube videos all the time and they get thousands of views. So, you know, honestly, sometimes I feel like I'd be trying to think up masterpieces when I'm like thinking up video ideas and maybe I just need to keep this shit simple <laughs> and not overthink it so much but anyway that's that's what we did and I really like it I don't know what else to say 
stream dynamite hose. Sometimes I'm really insecure about my uh, YouTube personality. Like I am not a comedian, like best dress. I don't know. I don't know how to be likable on the internet. Give me some tips. Would you guys like buy anything from like this? If I were to sell something like this, like a shirt like this, would people buy it? Would you buy it? Oh, cute, oh my gosh. This fro, this is a look. <laughs> Light it up like dynamite. Whoa, whoa, hey. I never know how to leave. How do I say goodbye to you? Anyway, I post videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday of the week. So, wait, no, I don't. I post whenever now. I'm trying to figure out a new schedule. Subscribe, just subscribe, just subscribe. Yeah, I'll see you next week with some videos or stuff, maybe. Bye.